We managed to avoid a strong to severe thunderstorms today. Had a couple thunderstorms brew up this morning, but they were more of your garden variety thunderstorms. Uh, looks like the entire line of activity is now fizzled out and settled down some in central Illinois, but at times from Michigan to Missouri, we saw all sorts of severe weather alerts, nearly 500 miles of them. We thankfully did not have to deal with that. Now, the cold front still has to come through later tonight. This should sweep through without any kind of rain activity, so quiet conditions expected through the rest of the night. The big change will be the change in the humidity, not so much the temperature. Today, dew points in the mid-70s, kind of right on that border between uncomfortable to extremely humid. We're down to about slightly humid to humid going into tomorrow. So uh, there's still going to be a touch of humidity in the air, but the air should be a lot more comfortable compared to what we had as of today. And that's going to stick around through Friday. So we have a couple days of warm and comfortable conditions around the corner. Then that very muggy air returns as we head into Saturday. So uh, we also are keeping an eye on some of the heat that we had last night. Last night we only dropped down to 73, and that's so far the record low for today. Uh, the past record. Uh, was in 1912, uh, so well over a century ago at 66 degrees. We'll have to see if that holds together through midnight, likely to do so. So record setting warmth last night. So that's why that cold front will also be handy because it will get rid of some of those very stuffy conditions that we had last night. Tonight, only down about five degrees cooler than that, but still 60s ahead rather than the 70s under a mainly cloudy sky. And then we go into tomorrow with lots of sunshine and again, a lot less in the way of humidity. We'll have a high of 83 under that bright sunny sky. Light breeze out of the northeast should make for a picture perfect uh, Thursday. And we'll have again similar conditions to this going into Friday. You look ahead in the forecast Friday in the middle 80s. Uh, so warm for this time of year. Still looking at a lot of sunshine and again that low humidity for city market. That all returns on Saturday. Sunshine 90s may feel like almost 100 the humidity still in the 90s for Sunday. But then some cooler weather comes in and that could spark some scattered showers and storms like we saw today. Eventually, we drop down to the low 80s for early next week. And your most accurate 10 day forecast will continue to hold on to a near average weather all throughout next week. That means the low 80s of sunshine. So very typical weather for this time of year after some more ups and downs as of this week. And speaking of ups and downs, we ended up a little down on the four degree guarantee. The heat just never materialized thanks to the morning showers and storms that really limited how much we heated up today. So as a result, we were a little off on that four degree guarantee. So congrats to Ryan S of Rockton. $156 is heading his way as a result of the four degree guarantee. We'll see if we can get back on track tomorrow. And in the meantime, if you're hoping to be possibly one of the next winners, head over to WRX.com. That's where you can sign up, Brittany. All right, definitely want to sign up for that, Alex. Thanks.